Good morning. Along with the severe chastening that God gives his people, what else, what other reassurance does he give them? Our reading is in Jeremiah 32 today, verses 32 to 41. Because of all the evil of the children of Israel and the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger, they, their kings, their princes, their priests, their prophets, the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and they have turned to me the back and not the face, though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not listened to receive instruction. But they set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire to Molech, which I did not command them, nor did it come into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. Now therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city of which you say it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, by famine, and by the pestilence, Behold, I will gather them out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger, in my fury, and in great wrath. I will bring them back to this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. And then I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from doing them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts, so that they will not depart from me, yes, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and with all my soul. The whole nation has turned its back away from the divine king. The prophets, the priests, the kings, the princes, uh, pretty much all the institutions that God set up for the kingdom, they've all gone astray. They've all gone to doing their own business. And so they've turned away from the God of heaven. And yet, and yet, God still has a good purpose for them. God sent his true servants, like Jeremiah the prophet, to, to give his word for them. And he's done it. Although it hasn't been too much received, it's been there. God's witness and testimony has been there. And he plans to do them good, although they've done him evil. He's going to chastise them and bring them through that uh, terrible situation. He's going to bring them along to where he can work with them again. I love this. He promises to gather them from everywhere that he's sent them. They're going to dwell safely again. Verse 39 really kind of nails it down. It's the restatement. Uh, they'll be my people and I'll be their God. Verse 38, that's the restatement of the covenant. But verse 39, then I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever. This doesn't mean to be afraid and a trembling, you know, oh, wait, oh no, there might be a thunderbolt to come against us type fear. It's to respect and reverence and have an awe for him. Look what he's done for us. What could we do but love and respect him? God wants his people to be united, but it's pretty hard to be united when all of their main institutions, the prophets, the priests, the kings, the princes, and so on, when they're all going against God. So God's going to sweep them away in this chastisement and get to the people in, into a position where he can bring them back, back toward unity. He wants us in unity, but it's hard to do when the leadership is a wall. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be right. Uh, help our hearts to be in a place where you can work with us. And bring us back from, from departures from you. Bring us back close to you. Thank you that you did this successfully with so many in Jeremiah's time. And we know you can still do it today. Your arm is not short and you can do it for us today. And bring us back to where you can bless us and through us bring blessing into this world. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen. So God's going to restore us. We can be of one heart and one way. And so he's going to bring us back to that space. If we're only willing, Lord, help us be willing. That must be our, our prayer and our, our daily striving. God be with you today as you serve him.